Howdy, partner, and welcome to Around and About Temecula. I'm your host, Jeff Lawrence. Today, we're taking a step back in time to the old Wild West, a time where gunfighters, bandits, sheriffs, and marshals roam the streets of Old Town Temecula with their six shooters by their side. So, reach for the sky, and let's get started with the show. We're here at the Vail Ranch Playground Reopening Ceremony. What was once a typical city playground has been transformed into an amazing Old West town. This park has everything for the little cowboys and cowgirls in your family. They're gonna love running around and playing on all the Wild West attractions that this park has to offer. So saddle up your horses and hit the trail for the new playground equipment located here at Vail Ranch Park. Hi, I'm Dale Borgeson. I'm one of the City of Temecula Community Services Commissioners, and I'm lucky enough to be here today for the rededication of Vail Ranch Park. We have this new fabulous park with dozens of kids enjoying it right behind me. And this park was rebuilt. The whole playground apparatus is brand new. And this was due to Measure S funds directly related to that approval by the citizens of Temecula. This park is a Temecula history revisit, a Temecula history theme. You'll see we've got representations of the, the Merck building in Old Town, the post office, the hotel, the Butterfield stage, the railroad. It's just fantastic. Um, I hope that all citizens of Temecula will come around and enjoy this. Uh, this is our third park that we've been able to redo through Measure S, and there are many more to come. So look for more episodes that will help highlight some more of our new parks all throughout the city of Temecula. When it was time to design Vail Ranch Park, we knew we had a great opportunity to showcase Temecula's rich history. We provided the playground equipment manufacturer, Miracle Recreation, with historical photographs of some of Temecula's landmarks. They used those photographs to create custom facades of these historic landmarks, like the Old National Bank, the Mercantile Building, the Butterfield Stagecoach, and many more. Those historic facades are now on the state-of-the-art play equipment you see here. It's the very best of old meets new. But the most exciting part about this project is that you can still enjoy these landmarks in Old Town Temecula today. Many of them are enjoying a second life as a hotel, a restaurant, even a performing arts space. To find out more about these or schedule a walking tour for you and your family, check out Temecula Valley Museum in Old Town. It's right next to the fire station. Or visit us at TemeculaCA.gov. The Temecula Community Services District will be happy to show you around. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> If you attended Temecula High School or Middle School and you're looking for something fun to do when school lets out, why not try heading down to the Temecula Community Recreation Center? We have a lot of cool activities going on Monday through Friday. The Community Recreation Center is a fun and safe place to recreate as well as meet new friends. What do you say we head down there now and check in with staff to find out more? Hi, my name is Hilda Nieto and I work here at the Community Recreation Center. I'm a senior rec leader and I am in charge of the team programming. Here at the Temecula Recreation Center, we have our teen zone, which is open to all the teens who live here in Temecula or attend a Temecula middle school or high school. It only costs a dollar for a membership. Recently, we have started renovations in the teen zone. There's new paint on the walls, new flooring, and there's more to come. Some amenities that we have in the teen zone is that they can come and play some PlayStation 4, 
the Xbox One, and we also have um, a ping pong table, the foosball table, and they can shoot a game of air hockey. Another part of our team programs, we have open gym, which is open for teens to come and play games against staff, and we have different activities each month. For more information, visit us at temeculaca.gov slash teenzone. The Mary Phillips Senior Center offers many quality programs and activities throughout the year. One new program that has been receiving great reviews is Sing For Our Seniors. This amazing program presented by our TCSDs Arts and Culture Entertainment Team gives seniors the opportunity to gather and listen to professional entertainers. Let's check in with staff to learn more about Sing For Our Seniors. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Hello, my name is Bella and I work at the Temecula Valley Museum. I'm a recreation assistant. The city of Temecula cherishes our advanced adult population and we are fortunate to share the musical talent of the Barn Stage Company with them. Many of our seniors are unable to travel in the evening or come to performances on the weekends. So we wanted to bring the show to them. This is a program that is done around the country and we wanted to bring it to Temecula to provide a more accessible entertainment to our seniors. Temecula's Community Services Department recently attended the 70th Annual California Parks and Recreation Society's Conference and Expo here at the Long Beach Convention Center. This year's theme is 70 Years of Inspiring Excellence. The parks and recreation industry is continually evolving with emerging trends. This gathering of California colleagues provides opportunities for new discoveries, innovations, connectivity, and professional development. There are over 130 educational sessions offered allowing Team TCSD to acquire best practices and bring these learning lessons in order to make a difference throughout our community. In fact, Temecula's homeless outreach liaison, Robin Gilliland, is actually leading the Responsible Compassion educational sessions this week, and we will take you there. Follow your TCSD recreation professionals as we provide a sneak peek into the 2018 CPRS conference as we learn, build community, share insights, and bring it all back to our hometown of Temecula. Johnson and I'm a community services assistant for the city of Temecula. I work at the Community Recreation Center where we have programming ranging from the skate park to the gymnasium to day camp and I've worked for the city of Temecula for about eight years now. For the first time ever I was invited to the California Parks and Recreation Society Conference, CPRS, um, and it was an overall amazing experience. It was a privilege to be invited to it. Um, so we started day one with the 8 a.m. rookie session where industry experts um, told us, you know, kind of what to expect from the conference, uh, tips and tricks to get the most out of it. And the next three days were spent learning um, different topics ranging from icebreakers and games to emergencies during a special event. Um, and I thought that I learned a lot from the experience that I can bring back to Temecula and I'm really excited to share that with my agency. And I'm already excited for the next one. My name is Robin Gilliland and I'm a Community Services Supervisor for the City of Temecula. This is one of many trips I've taken to CPRS and what an amazing experience. One of the best things about these sessions is learning best practices and what other cities are doing and how we can incorporate such things into our city. This year I had the great opportunity to present a session on my specialty which is homelessness. The session I had the pleasure of teaching was on Responsible Compassion, the City of Temecula's marketing strategy on homelessness. We hope other cities will be able to utilize some of our ideas in helping their local homeless in their cities.
This month is filled with a host of exciting, fun-filled programs and events you won't want to miss. Be sure to mark them down on your calendars. These were just a few of the activities happening this month in Temecula. We encourage you to view the entire lineup of TCSD events at TemeculaCA.gov slash TCSD. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope to see you around and about Temecula.